Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where I'm trying to beat the game on Legendary Armand difficulty with limited selection of soldiers, limited selection of items, kind of niche builds and of course less HP, more enemies and stronger enemies. So a better advent and a better chosen are upon us. Time for Operation Cryptic Mist which is the next very difficult uh, supply raid. And we got a nice side trip going for us, beast-like enemies, uh, that can only mean we're going to fight against the thickest of uh, targets, berserkers, maybe some chrysalids, and uh, the uh, good old... Uh, what else? What else uh, is beast-like? Yeah, potentially faceless ones. So yeah, maybe... Maybe a gatekeeper, but that comes uh, later. I think they, at least I remember that they have been quite often within these beast like missions. Anyway, Savage is a nice side trip. I like it. We got AP rounds, we got Tracer rounds, we got Dragon rounds, got some crowd control with the Frost Bomb, got some shredding, some cover removal, and that's really kind of the uh, setup that we're going for. I'm not sure if we uh, if we really need the skull jack or if we instead should go for flash bang grenade. Potentially the flash bang is better. It gives him something to do whenever the bolt caster is uh, about to reload, because the flash bang can reduce movement of beast-like enemies. And wow, boy, boy, that could be helpful since the skirmisher. He's already at a colonel rank. I will only deploy them uh, with their bond mate. I want to make sure that we're giving the XP to the B team and not to the guys that are already on maximum level. Okay, so we landed and as always everybody starts without concealment. Of course, short of our short of our ranger and our reaper. The latter one has a fantastic movement range. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, for starters, <clears throat> I would appreciate if we're not being spotted out. So... We can achieve that by standing over here, I suppose. We could pull the, uh, the chrysalids. Or, alternatively, we're just kill zoning. And moving up to pull them afterwards. Primus moves forward <clears throat> because he's mainly the one uh, that is immune to their poison. That's a nice little shot. Good job. That's the second pretty decent uh, shot. Good job. And we got all of the shots out of uh, the out of the overwatch that we wanted if you say so. so yeah sometimes kill zones can be incredibly helpful i think we want to be spotted out uh, right away with zirkim no reason to have another scout That's a solid kill. Right on the margin. That's not a solid kill, unfortunately. Whatever you say. All right, Hunk moves up. Not too shabby. 
And that's 100% shot, 100% kill. Good. Three chrysalids down. We got a chosen on top of all of uh, the enemies here. Uh, and it is one that I hate fiercely. She can summon robotic enemies, um, extra willpower loss, and uh, she will be more difficult to hit. No disadvantages. Okay, at least we can scout her out. We just picked up the chosen assassin's energy signature. She's moving on the squad's position, Commander. And that's a quadruple pack of chrysalids. Don't want to deal with those guys, to be honest. Let's rock! Can't grapple anywhere. <clears throat> Not yet. Right, so what I would propose is let's get a tiny bit closer to these I go where I am to these chrysalids. And we're going to use our claymore mine in order to soften them up. Again, uh, there is no need to get too close. I think here is fine. Stop, stop. Jessica Rabbit, uh, we need a good position where she could theoretically hit them. I think over here is good. Zirkim takes uh, the right uh, flank. I can handle that. And we're uh, putting up that. Uh, that fire line that I was talking about. Only a few overwatches. Are we getting spotted out? Please, don't tell me that we are. Doesn't seem all that difficult to me. As one dies, another is already born to take his place. Okay, so far so good. A delicate placement. Time to soften these guys up. Good. And although we were pretty close to them, it just so happens that none of uh, them spotted us out which is great gotta be a bit careful uh, with the with the chosen to be honest I got that feeling that she's right around the corner and is just waiting for us to trip No kill? Holy. Well, we could frost bomb. I mean, it won't mean much for the chosen, but it will at least be a get out of jail card against the chrysalids. I don't want to deal with all of them. And I also do not yet want uh, to use Overdrive. I want to use it against the Chosen. I'm compelled to agree. Even the Mac agrees with that. One of the things that we could do is Bombard. Will potentially be the most damage that we can deal here. Good. Well, it sets uh, that sets them up for uh, to be in kill range. Common protocol would be 100% kill. Got 
Gotta be careful. I again, I don't want to <coughs> trigger. Okay, we used a, a few explosives. Back in. Nothing too serious, but definitely watch. something uh, that cost us some resources. Time for hiding is over. A patrol is upwind. Okay, gotta be careful with the chosen. Let's hope she does not engage yet. Okay, she prepared for an engagement. But you fucked up bad. One of the chosen. Heads up. Oh yeah, that is one of the chosen. Very much heads up. What's over there? And soon that very chosen will be tits up. Overdrive. That's why I wanted that extra action. Let's shred her. She's no longer vulnerable to shredding, but she's also not immune to it. Very good. Still 100% hit. Lovely. That will not be enough to stop me. Still got an advanced auto loader, so we can reload. Let's mark her. Because she has her low profile going. You lack focus. Ninety-two percent. Sounds good to me. Come on. Maybe not good enough. Maybe not good enough. Sirkim takes the aid protocol. And let's nail her. Full caster. And another miss. Can't say we have have not marked her beforehand. Nice, that was a good hit. Moving a bit closer, just to get that proximity bonus. Weapon range, we got the maximum proximity bonus, and yet another miss. Not good. Not good. I will go. Moving back. Let's try to hit her. I can't let that happen okay. Again. This is getting comical to a degree. That's only nine points of damage. No, we're going to take a shot. Well, look, I don't know the exact percentage chance of what we were trying to do, but we missed a 95 and 85, 70 something in another 80% shot so it is what it is sometimes sometimes the game just does not want you to to hit her and one shot her We got a lot of blinded soldiers. Fantastic. We could use one of those. What's our chance to shut this guy down? 50-50. Okay, I, I think we can live with that. Ready to rock. Reloading. We're going to deal with it in a second. Take 
Let's take away the remaining cover that she has. seeing that stun mounts over there? I think we're not. But we gotta be super careful. Alright, first things first, we're going to reload. And we're potentially going to lose our concealment here. the reveal my skills there are still to find one capable of besting me more than once i'd say Good. we owe our people we taught that uh, chosen a valuable a lesson i doubt it'll be long before we see that thing again though i feel light on my feet Five percent shot missed, just like that. I'll need to reload soon. Might as well go for a dead eye. Solid overall damage. And that even prevents us from uh, being forced to use Hayward Protocol. I'm on it. We're potentially going to see another pack that's going to add right now. But so far, we're I'm, I'm surprised just how well we are keeping up. And I'm also surprised to see that a spark can be blinded. Good to go. Good. So, faceless, heavy lancer, faceless one. I think we're going for the faceless one. Nice little hit. Eight protocol on to Zirkim here. And then we're going to nail a faceless one. Good. So much for the beast. Well, we got. Our uh, frost bomb, in case the rest is not going to work out. And I think it's a perfect timing. Give me a minute. To have some weapon proximity. Zero can move swift uh, with us. Another 81% shot missed. Wow. This time... Oh, this mission... I think we're using of uh, we're using all of the bad RNG that one could get. Yeah, and I'm already convinced that we will be forced to use uh, the frost bomb. Yeah. Another 70 plus percent shot missed. Okay, cool. Well, sometimes you're out of luck. It is what it is. Using our hard CC that we brought with us. 
I think we're out of tricks now. I can hear even more faceless ones joining. Start with the faces one. But we might be in a situation where we will need the flashbang grenade. Maybe. Not sure yet. Moving up. Another 90% shot that is missing. Holy shit, how is that even possible? much for that guy. Uh, we don't have overdrive yet. That is unfortunate. Flashbang is too far away. We can't hit him. Can combat protocol and kill someone. All right, moving over. We're potentially going to get a sh uh, get one hit from the stun lancer. Since Sirkim is in the open, we're positioning ourselves right in front of him to prevent any attacks. Yeah, that would be a great option for flashbang. Can't really do anything other than overwatching and reloading. Sunlancer will get their turn. And there's a straight up unconscious. Nice one. He thinks that he is safe in cover, but the cover can move. Nah, I think we're doing shotgun to the face. Almost flawless, but... Okay, I'm not going to blame RNG. You guys can make up your own mind, though. I think this mission was a bit cursed from an RNG perspective. A tiny bit. Wonderful. So... Hunk finally gets uh, scanning protocol. Oh, that's good. Sentman got 12 days in the mad bay for a single hit with the Stun Lancer. By the way, I love how the rework doesn't really work because the rework with the Stun Lancers originally had been they need to hit you once and then you're potentially dazed and you only if you're already injured they can uh, knock you unconscious. Uh, that they can straight up knock you unconscious must be an ABA, uh, so a better advent uh, change. But that 
is their biggest shtick. They uh, taking someone out immediately. Anyways, got 150 supplies, good old Alarium alien alloys, and plenty of corpses. So that's fantastic. Plus, some people will require extra rest. Well, overall, like every, all things considered, it still was a success. We did not lose anyone, per se. I will not allow the existence of any refuge in of course, we can't earn too much uh, money. They need the economic crackdown, as always. The elders never had any issues targeting civilians. And their chosen are no different. The resistance is counting on us to protect their people. And of course, we cannot finish it just before the month end yet again. Anyways, got that nice little 500. And she's now immune to melee damage. Well, at least we get that out of the way immediately. We're going to invade her stronghold soon-ish. Attempt to sabotage the um, Avenger. And this guy here. Uh, this guy here is going to train. This here would. Uh, Wild Hunt would actually be helpful for us because we're getting more APs. And there's the double agent. Supply uh, drop increase goes out and instead we have a chance that we're going to see <clears throat> an additional member joining us it's nice to see how we like uh, meshed up with the skirmishers and we have almost all skirmisher ish um, resistance orders it's so overall it's good i like uh, the resistance order specifically sabotage that's fantastic uh, private uh, channel isn't bad either. It helps us to make it easier and inside knowledge is really good as well So that's a flat-out buff of all of uh, the weapon mods We're back to almost 700 supplies and look at that 160 Intel it's not going to fly Um, 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 I think we need to build a tower in here as well in order to get Pursue of Knowledge, so might as well start the radio relay. No, I did not want to fly to the black market. Well, now that we're here, might as well see if we can purchase something. Superior agility isn't bad. I think we could go for it. Scientist isn't bad either, but that would take away all of our intel. Should we go for another scientist? We're still a bit behind, so might as well recruit him now. In terms of selling... No, nah, I think we're good. Setting course for Western Europe. So yeah, having <clears throat> more scientists will help us to eventually speed up the process. And if you look at uh, the overall kind of situation where we're trying to go for another laboratory now, it might even work out. Fantastic, an incendiary grenade. That is what I was hoping for. <clears throat> we're going to set the guys ablaze wow we got four cores i wasn't realizing just how much cores we have gotten almost time to build another spark almost time to build another spark i mean now is a good time so Let's get this one going. And then we're putting Battlefield Mezzan in here. We had the supplies and we had all of uh, the extra resources as well. Might as well go for that second 
for that second spark. Okay, so how about how about we're going for that laboratory? Fantastic. That speeds up the process, and we got some more engineers working on the excavation very soon. The debris here will be cleared as well, so we get another influx of resources. And yeah, with the laboratory and the continent bonus, we should be fine. Plus, we also got the bond training completed, so things are starting to look up. Maximum power consumption reached. We do not yet need that, I think. Harvesting those other resources. We still need the Shadow Chamber later and Defense Matrix, so we're okay. Scientist uh, is out of commission for 19 days. That's okay. We just got a scientist, so. Essentially, we're back to our original kind of research speed. We need to watch out for their sabotage attempts. Good. We're now out of we're now out of uh, intel, so this year is not going to fly. One thing that we bought was the superior agility. Let me just uh, clear up a couple of things. Frodo needs superior uh, hit points soon, but Quick Feet still got his normal agility and. With superior agility, we're already at plus 22 dodge, so he's up 32 dodge, which is cool. I like that. We want to give him even more. So as time goes by, we're going to train him further. In terms of training centers, speaking about which, let's just double check. We got a couple of points left over. Nothing that we could really hand out. I mean, we still don't know what boards would be getting here. And we got Hail of Bullets. Guaranteed hit. Running, hmm. That's not too bad. I mean, it takes a lot of ammunition, but a guaranteed hit, as you have might have seen in the last uh, in the in the last mission, it's actually not too bad. So yeah, let's go for that. Further improving our prime team. Which, I mean, we only got um, the rules of the run incentive that were piling up resources on one team with kind of those extra abilities, you right? Let's gain some intel. Sometimes uh, one of our uh, viewers has pointed that out. Sometimes you don't need to do anything incredibly fancy on the layer. Sometimes just some good old intel gathering Commander, will just do fine. To make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, like stone, we'll slow and steady back. wins the race here, right? And we got plasma rifles top. finally going for us. That will allow for a lot of upgrades. Proved auto pistols, we don't need that, thank you. I was hoping we would get some more some more autopsies here. But since we're anyways doing this, how about we're going for beam cannons next? <clears throat> that will also improve the cannons of our mech. New orders, Commander? Let's double check weapons. What can we upgrade? We could upgrade. Well, that would be fantastic. But we will require more supplies for it. Part Shadow Keeper wouldn't be bad. Eh. Well, we're still using it, so I suppose it's not bad either. There are a couple of upgrades that are worthwhile. Most noticeably, potentially the Plasma Rifle. So around seems to have given the resistance a morale boost, not to mention our crew. I don't think I've ever seen Bradford this happy. 
So, is it worth selling something on the black market? Potentially not, because we're losing quite a bit of time. We're okay with the weapons for now. And I'll play this off screen. It's not that interesting. Right, we're back. And <clears throat> just like that, also the next spark is done. Yep, thank you. We don't need that. Here's the result of uh, the mission, just in case you were wondering. No one got injured, but we got a promotion and we can finally infiltrate her stronghold. We want to take out the chosen once and for all. We should move to strike their stronghold. Good. We got dodge plus five. I still like that a lot. That isn't bad either. Specifically, if it on, uh, the, uh, since it only takes seven days, so that one is really good. Promotion and reduction. Wow, the game is really giving us some nice rewards here. Oh, that one is fantastic. That one is fantastic. Since the skirmisher is our main uh, protagonist of the whole run, right? Might as well want to give him plus one damage on his main weapon. Well, we got a couple of really good ones. I think for now, let's go with that. Plus three aim. If Reckoner also gets plus three aim, that wouldn't be too bad. And we don't need him at the moment. He's already a colonel, right? Uh, no one wants to get wounded, so might as well put that on here. And a scientist. So six days and we'll get some extra aim. Plus one on uh, the guns. I think the breakthrough research for the vector rifles is the other one that uh, that's, uh, uh, that's a no-brainer. And with that, Frodo... So typically what I will do is this uh, capacitator discharge because it is an incredibly strong um, uh, damaging AOE ability, which kind of leaves us with restoration this time. And maybe that also solves the issue of healing because although AOE healing might, or group healing rather, uh, might be a bit wasteful, it at least gives us kind of once a mission the... Uh, or the ability that we're healing everyone so it is the the worst ability so to speak because typically you do have field medic and medical protocol so you can eventually heal up but there are times or i found myself seldomly in situations where the entire squad has uh, received kind of explosion damage and you just want to top everybody up then restoration is the way to go so i totally like that one also Let's get that superior conditioning going. So we're at the sweet, sweet 15 hit points. Uh, that's enough to not be one shot by um, at least some of uh, the enemies. Uh, with armor on top of it, we should be fine. So the prime team looks really, really good. Uh, in terms of Frodo, let's just see if, uh, if there is something worthwhile. Yeah. Lightning reflexes, we're going to get that, and hail of bullets isn't bad either. So I think we're going to uh, to do that. Salvo is almost a bit a bit wasted because uh, we're not often doing something with Salvo, but maybe that's a mistake from my end. Uh, I know how I could use that. Here's the idea: uh, the the team is going to be weird because we're playing it like uh, um, all of the things completely different. But hear me out. Uh, I want to put uh, a war suit on Frodo. Salvo also works with heavy weapons, so maybe kind of a shredding gun or something along the lines. So uh, if shit hits the fan, they can essentially like uh, use that and maybe hail of bullets, uh, which is 100% uh, shot. I'm not sure if hail of bullets, uh, to be honest, works uh, with the uh, with the bolt launcher. Potentially it won't, but we can still try it. 
Lightning reflexes will be great uh, just as an overall tool and blast padding for survivability. So that's not bad. Uh, in a sense, they would be kind of a walking, uh, more heavyish uh, soldier. And at the same time, we would have Wurtz, our grenadier, that is grappling around. So I like that sw switch up. Uh, makes it completely unique and a bit different to uh, to the normal setup. And here we go. So I would like to get let that go through. We got an engineer uh, and a hidden event, and we got Intel and a hidden event. I think we're going to go for the Intel. To be honest, uh, it's just pretty straightforward we need it we can expand uh, we don't need an engineer at this point too much I think we're okay with the engineers that we are having nine is a good number and instead um, destroying that alien relay here could counter a hidden event of course I don't know the events so it's hard to tell there are a couple of really nasty ones but that one here should be uh, fine from a reward perspective plus we'll get kind of that one dark event anyways okay looks good i think we're on the right track like i mentioned uh, the campaign is going well the avatar project is very much under control we're soon going to go to eastern europe uh, we still have a facility lead so uh, one of uh, those two facilities could be reached if we're actually going to research it which is fine and uh, the rest looks okay-ish. I think we're in a good, uh, in a really good spot, actually. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the content, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.